Hi everybody, my name is Mary and today I will be watching Game of Thrones season 5 for the first time. Let's go! Hi everybody, welcome back and if you're new, hi as well. My name is Mary and I watch series and movies on this channel that I've never seen before. With Game of Thrones, the big, big series of course. Today we're gonna start season 5. I wrote down who I remembered dying in season 4. My list. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, Oberyn, the Hound. And then suddenly I was like, oh yeah, Joffrey died as well. Egret died. She and Tywin died. Georgian died. Liza died. Like, holy hell, who's left? And I know that there's a lot of people still left, but I, in my mind, I feel like I didn't really remember how many actually of them died until I start writing it down for a day. So <laughs> if you kill so many people during one season, like who's going to be left by season eight? And I feel like this season, there were a lot of people that I really was sad about as well like it wasn't as shocking as in season three where it like bam in one episode you get the whole Ugh. but still i feel like over time like with Oberyn, i was really upset because i thought he was gonna stick around longer egret as well and then shay what the hell happened there and joffrey so yeah i'm excited to start this season a little bit nervous as well because after that massacre i'm like now what you know now what but I do think that a lot of characters are in interesting place at this point. So yeah, we shall see where it goes. If you like this video, make sure to leave a comment. They actually really do help out these videos. And if you like it, make sure to like and subscribe maybe if you want to see the next ones. If you want to see the full reactions, full uncut to the whole episodes, I post those on Patreon. So you can find these over there. Let's get into this one. We shouldn't be out here alone. Why not? If your father here... He'll never know we're gone. You don't need to be afraid of my father. And you are... Before spooks. <laughs> Get out. Get out! You're not terrifying. You don't know what I am. I know you're a witch. And you can see the future. Tell me mine. Yeah, I don't think you want to know your own future. Tell me my future or I'll have your two boring eyes gouged out of your head. Whoa, who raised you? <laughs> Blood. Give me a taste. Of all things she could ask. Three questions you get. You are like the answers. <laughs> I've been promised to the prince. When will we marry? Is that mini Cersei? But I will be queen. Oh yes. And comes another. Younger, more beautiful. The king will have 20 children, and you will have three. That's mini Cersei, right? Come on, we have to go. <laughs> we have to go. Cersei! Chills. Well, she was a bitch already when she was younger, so that's interesting. <laughs> I wonder, though, the death robe gold is that just for joffrey because what about the two others are still alive so will they also die or was it just meant for joffrey are they gonna bang again i hope not did you set him free Tyrion may be a monster but at least he killed our father on purpose you're a man of action aren't you when it occurs to you to do something you do it never mind the consequences you couldn't really predict this right it's not really fair he loved you more than anyone in this world beautiful scene right i'm still surprised though that Tyrion went so berserk i guess after years of being belittled and that shay thing probably like i don't know it's something that you would really not expect from him as a from what we have seen so far <clears throat> apologies washing his own hands <laughs> you know what it's like to stuff your shit through one of those air holes? No. I only know what it's like to pick up your shit and throw it overboard. <laughs> mm. Much better. My lord, don't think I am anymore. A lord. You just need a good shower. <laughs> you already drank yourself across the narrow sea. In a box. Why stop now? Because we are talking about the future of our country. The future is shit, just like the past. I can imagine that he needs some time to just figure it all out. The woman he loved is gone by his own hands. His father is gone by his own hands. His sister hates him. Like, what's left for him at this point? Mm -hmm. 
so uh, Daenerys, how are you doing? Did he change too? Last time we had Dario. <laughs> the sound in the back. <sighs> okay. <gasps> Has she ever seen an unsolid? Yes, Your Grace. They left it on the body. They've never killed before. It was only a matter of time, Your Grace. Oh, there you, oh thank God. I thought you, that they changed the actor or something. Okay. I want him buried with honor, publicly, in the Temple of the Graces. The sons of the Harpy will hear that message. Yeah, they're gonna be pissed. Find the men who did this and bring them to me. I feel like she would do well with a council. At this point, she's still very young, right? And she's like, yeah, I'm gonna rule a little bit, but I don't think it's that easy. Sunday, he not. I wanted to speak with you. <laughs> be gone, guys, be gone. Why do you come? White rat, the unsullied who. I have heard they found his body in a brothel. She's curious. What are they doing there? Why would an unsullied go to a brothel? She's so direct. I do not know. I must go. He's not ready for these conversations. I find it very cool that she's willing to ask. Get your shield up. It's too heavy. If it wasn't heavy, it wouldn't stop a sword. Now get it up. He killed Igrit, didn't he? These men lead a firm house. Always have. They're poachers and thieves. Not soldiers. That one hates me. He eats everybody. Don't let them send us away. I told you, wherever you go, I go too. You can't leave, they'll execute you. <laughs> Damn, she's right. <laughs> Shield up! The king wants a word. <laughs> what she's gonna do with his blood. So far though, like in the beginning I was like, what is her whole god of light thing? But everything she said so far has always been true. And you might be like, oh, well, it's a coincidence and stuff. But still, like there's a lot of weird things happening, right? That she predicted. Are you a virgin? <laughs> no. Oh my god, I'm, oh my god, I was like, she's, oh no, don't say it. Don't say good. <laughs> oh, John. Oh no, what's she planning with him? You know who rules at Winterfell now? Who's Bolton? The traitor who plunged a dagger in Rob Stark's heart. Some of the Night's Watch feel you have too much affection for the wildlings. They were born on the wrong side of the wall. Doesn't make them monsters. Oh, John. Take back the North from the thieves who stole it. Tywin Lannister is dead, he can't protect them now. But if I'm to take Winterfell, I need more men. The men of the Night's Watch are sworn to play no part. I'm talking about the damned Night's Watch. I'm talking about the wildlings. Interesting. You want the wildlings to march in your army? We'll take Winterfell. Once the North is won, I'll declare them citizens of the realm. I'll offer them their lives and their freedom. If man kneels before me and swears his loyalty. Does he need to do the kneeling part as well? <laughs> How much time do I have? Nightfall. Sun drops fast this time of year. Hurry, Jon Snow. Oh, whoa. Some boys develop more slowly. He's still young. He's 13. Is he not gonna just sacrifice Robin? <laughs> so he's the like... gift of a great name. Lord. Sometimes. That's all one Or needs. she is. <laughs> Poor kid. You're hundreds of miles from King's Landing. No one knows what you look like. No one cares. But I'm your squire. Do you even know what a squire is? An attendant to a knight? I'm not a knight. That means you're not a squire. Cabrian. Come on. <laughs> I don't want anyone following me. I'm not a leader. All I ever wanted was to fight for a lord I believed in. The good lords are dead and the rest are monsters. That must suck. You told Lord Royce we were going to the Fingers. Oh my god, yes. what are you? But we're heading west. We yeah. are. If you wanted to betray us, you already would have. So where are we going? To a land so far from here. Even Cersei Lannister can't get her hands on you. This is an interesting storyline. I like that one. Your father was a, a force to be reckoned with. He truly was. I must suck to listen to everyone like saying their condolences in those amounts. Being in his presence was enough to make it so clear. <gasps> a younger, more beautiful woman. Your Grace. Cousin Lancel, I hardly recognized you. My deepest sympathies. Oh my God, I didn't recognize him either. Whoa. They call themselves sparrows. Bloody fanatics. 
Religion has its place, of course, but at a certain point. They never would have come to the capital when Tywin was alive. I'm sure he'll grow out of it, whatever it is. Whatever it is. <laughs> Your wounds from the Blackwater seem to have healed. It wasn't my wounds that needed healing. Oh. <laughs> We're late for dinner as it is. You're very respectful. I'm very hungry. I feel that girl. Don't mess with hangry. Who looks like it's your like even if she knows that you want this, like do you need to shoot your brother? <laughs> uh. You think I want that woman married to my brother? If she doesn't marry me, she doesn't go to Highgarden, which means she stays in King's Landing, which means you're trapped here with Cersei Lannister. Yeah, so maybe do marry her in that case. <laughs> you never told me why you set me free. Your brother asked me to. You risked your life, your position, everything. Why? You're, you're not family. You owe me nothing. You have your father's instincts for politics, and you have compassion. Compassion? I killed my lover with my bare hands. I shot my own father with a crossbow. I never said you were perfect. <laughs> Slight flaw. The Seven Kingdoms need someone stronger than Tommen, but gentler than Stannis. A monarch who can intimidate the High Lords and inspire the people. A ruler loved by millions with a powerful army and the right family name. Good luck finding him. Who said anything about him? Tonzo? You can stay here at Illyrio's palace and drink yourself to death. Or you can ride with me to Daenerys. Maine, meet Daenerys Sorry. Targaryen and decide if the world is worth fighting for. Interesting. Always when it comes to Littlefinger and Varys, I'm so curious to see the plan that's going on in their mind. I don't want another child's bones dropped at my feet. No one's seen Drogon in weeks. For all I know, he's found halfway across the world. That's scary, right? So scary. Okay, so we're gonna find Drogon in a way or something, but I guess we're just gonna free the other two. How would they be doing? How long have they been there? Viserion? Rhaegal? <laughs> Easy. What didn't she expect to happen? The question is, how is she gonna solve this though? Because now she has no dragons that follow her. You know what Stannis wants? He wants me to bend the knee. And he wants the free folk to fight for him. Shouldn't the king be bold? <laughs> oh, I, I respect him. At this point, who do you want to be on the throne? Isn't their survival more important than your pride? Pride? Fuck my pride. And not the right wording. You're afraid of looking afraid. Oh, I am afraid. No shame in that. First one to admit that in this series. I'll be honest with you. I don't want to die. I'm burnt to death. I don't want people to remember me like that, scorched and screaming. But it's better than betraying everything I believe. You could ask them if they want to do it like this. Don't force them, but just ask them. I think you're making a terrible mistake. <laughs> the freedom to make my own mistakes was all I ever wanted. Uh, is that a is that a good take? Nah, I don't like that. I'd rather be free making my own mistake than not making a mistake with some help. See, this is so slow that I think he's gonna change his mind, but then again, it's Game of Thrones. <laughs> so predicting things is not really how it works, is it? That's really you've been called the king beyond the wall. Westeros only has one king. Bend the knee, I promise you mercy. This was my home. For many years i wish you good fortune in the wars to come what if you would ask the wildlings though hey guys one more fight and then uh freedom right i think many would have said let's go here stands your king of lies behold the fate of those who choose the darkness i hope he's not gonna change his mind too late oh this is so scary He's such a good guy, isn't he? Oh, I have chills. Good job, John. So will he be able to use the wildlings regardless now? Like, do they have an option to join now? Because it's not like he seems to be stressed out by the fact that men didn't want to follow him, right? I'm glad this season started. I feel like after the first episode, there's so little to say because people are still a little bit like on their way and they show many characters, but not really with things happening at this point. We also have like a lot of characters that we haven't seen, right? But yeah, I'm excited to jump into the next one. I'm very 
pretty interesting at this point. Who do you want to see on the throne? Because I feel like we have the characters that want to do it. Who, who did you all prefer? I actually have no clue at this point. I'm very much like, um, maybe Dennis. It's kind of like because he was, he is actually the one who should be on the throne after Rob. Yeah, the first Baratheon. But like Daenerys, I don't know. I think we'll first need to figure out what's going to happen with your dragons because we were all building towards the dragons we're gonna save the day and suddenly she like completely lost control over them so that's a big twist she has her army if she would have the dragons right now she could just be like hi i'm here we shall see i'm also curious to see what's gonna happen with sansa and Arya because they suddenly seem to be you know yeah i hope you like this reaction i'll see you in the next one hi everybody my name is mary that's my cat bernini <laughs> and today i will be watching game of thrones season 5 episode 2 you just watched episode 1 I feel like we can expect that the season starts slowly. Like what season was it though? Was it two or three that suddenly in the first episode something really dramatic happened? I don't remember, but I do remember it saying like, oh, the first season, like first episode started off fine. And then it completely was shocking. So we shall see. Game of Thrones, you never know. I feel like at least I learned that thing <laughs> after watching half the show. Anyway, let's get into this one. Let's go. Ah, uh, there you are. <laughs> Don't be afraid. He's announcing our arrival. I'm still so, like, blown away by how she left the hound. I feel like I'm really not over last season. <laughs> this is so pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. And they're showing the full trip. The house is black and white. This is where you'll find the man you seek. Thank you for bringing me. Any man of Bravos would have done the same. Balamogulis. Balatahiris. Are we gonna see him again? <laughs> now what? <laughs> Balamogulis. I have nowhere else to go. You have everywhere else to go. But wait! Oh! Cersei. Wald of Ray. Well, this is getting shorter, right? Wasn't it a lot longer? The mountain. Can somebody please help her? <laughs> oh no, don't toss it away. No, 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 no. She's pissed. <laughs> Understandably so. Hey. His face. Pretty lady! <laughs> Before we left, a maester gave you a raven scroll. You are becoming an observant young lady. My mother used to say, dark wings, dark words. An old saying. Inaccurate in this case. My marriage proposal has been accepted. I thought you still mourned the death of my beloved Aunt Lysa. Did she actively change her voice to lower? I noticed that last episode as well, but... What is it? Sansa Stark. Don't look. She's sitting with Peter Baelish. Little finger. A bunch of knights with him. Why do men love it so much? It gives some men courage. Does it give you courage? I don't need courage. Lord Baelish. Lady Sansa. My name is Brienne of Tarth. We've met with Renly Baratheon. What a dig. It's the last one to deserve digs, you know. Lady Sansa, before your mother's death, I was her sworn sword. I gave my word I would find you and protect you. Tell her about Arya. I'll give my life for yours if need be. I swear it by the old gods and the new. Lady Brienne, no need for such formality. Suddenly everyone's in her camp, like she was so alone. A new cat from the time we were children, she never mentioned you. It was after Renly's murder. You were accused of killing him. I tried to save him. But he was murdered by a shadow. A shadow with the face of Stannis Baratheon. Tell her about Arya! She failed. Why would I want somebody with your history of failure guarding Lady Sansa? Why should you have any say in her affairs? Because I am her uncle. I married her Aunt Lysa shortly before my beloved's untimely death. <laughs> if we can have a word alone. No. Please, my lady, if I could explain. I saw you at Joffrey's wedding, bowing to the king. Neither of us wanted to be there. Sometimes we don't have a choice. And sometimes we do. Whoa! Tell about Arya! Imagine how pissed she must be. She swears loyalty, the guy dies, everyone thinks it's her. She pledges loyalty, needs to find two girls and they both send her off. Where's Podrick? <laughs> You get the girls, right? Because it seems odd. But I, I'm like, why wouldn't you mention that you've seen Arya? Maybe it wouldn't have made a difference, but... Oh 
he's gonna go after him. <laughs> so sneaky. I feel so empty for her. Like my heart sinks just for her existence. I've changed. My God. Uh. My lady, if both Stark girls refused your service, maybe you're released from your vow. I swore to their mother I would protect those girls. But if they don't want your protection. Do you think she's safe with Littlefinger? No, my lady. Get your horse. Do we not think she's safe with Littlefinger? Oh, I think she was. No? There are only two like it in the world. The one I'm wearing, the one I gave to myself. It's a threat. Of course it's a threat. Well, they splashed his skull, so... Our eldest child murdered at his own wedding. Our only daughter shipped off to dawn. Our baby boy is set to marry that smirking whore from Highgarden. She needs a chill pill. <laughs> I'm going oh. to dawn. And I'm bringing our daughter home. You go down there with an army, it's an act of war. No army. How can you love her, like, honestly? Why does he not let go? Is that love? I never thought I'd end up settling down in a place like this. You won't. Pardon? When mother dies, my sister gets the castle because she's older. Oh yeah, he planned to murder the sister, didn't he? I've been all over the world. And if there's one thing I've learned, it's that meanness comes around. People like your sister, they always get what's coming to them, eventually. Well, people like Ned Stark too, so... I was very sorry to hear about your father. Thank you. This is my betrothed, Lollis. A pleasure. Run along, love. Her <laughs> face? <laughs> when were you planning on getting married? Just get on with it. On with what? What you're here for. There's no way this little visit could possibly mean anything good for me. It's very good for you. Money! How is this good for me? Because you're going to come with me and help me with something important. And when we return, I'm going to give you a much better girl and a much better castle. <laughs> return from where? As far south as south goes. I really hope we get to see it, Dorn. I was wondering what happened to her. Your brother was murdered. And you sit here in the water gardens, staring at the sky and doing nothing. Oberyn was slain during a trial by combat. By law, that is no murder. I will mourn for him. And then? You would have me go to war. The whole country would have you go to war. Then we are lucky the whole country does not decide. The Sand Snakes are with me. They have the love of their people. They will avenge their father while you sit here in your chair doing nothing. Not really nice, is it? I think it knows by now. I loved my brother. And you made him very happy. For that, you will always have a place in my heart. But we do not mutilate little girls for vengeance. Not here. Not while I rule. Good on him. And how long will that be? Well, it's a difficult one. No one here. We go. That was really smooth. Busted. Mercy, fair trial. These mean nothing to them. All they understand is blood. Difficult. Grace, a word, please, I beg you. About what? About your father. About the Mad King. The Mad King. You hate to remind me of my enemy's lies. Consider me reminded. Your Grace. Consider me reminded. It was at his side from the first. Your enemies did not lie. Go on. Oh, whoa. Harsh. He murdered sons in front of their fathers. He burned men alive with wildfire. I laughed as they screamed, and his efforts to stamp out dissent led to a rebellion that killed every Targaryen, except two. I'm not my father. No, your grace. Thank the gods. It'd be that way. He gave his enemies the justice he thought they deserved, and each time it made him feel powerful until the very end. I will not have the son of the Harpy executed without a fair trial. It's a difficult one because I feel like with this, it's like what type of ruler you're do you want to be might not be enough but it's also like what well, are people so used to that if you're a completely different ruler that it might not work out difficult like the sudden change although it's good change might be too much how many dwarves are there in the world is that they're going to kill them all not him oh my god she what take the head Pardon me, Your Grace. I would take it if you don't mind. It could prove useful for my work. Yeah. What a sicko. Over there would be fine. You heard the man. Over there. Okay. Well, we've seen them do that before, right? With uh, Lise Jeffrey's gone. I feel like she's crazy, but at least it's one crazy less. 
S. It's an S. Right, very good. Did you know that the youngest Lord Commander in history, Osric Stark, was elected at the age of 10? I know S. You'll learn, I promise. I taught Sir Davos and all people are terrible at learning new things. <laughs> I don't punish men for bravery. I reward them. I don't doubt it, Your Grace, but I'm a brother of the Night's Watch. I pledge them my life, my honor, my sword. I don't know what I have left to give you. You can give me the North. Even if I wanted to, I'm a bastard. The snow. Kneel before me. Lay your sword at my feet. Pledge me your service and you'll rise again as John Stark, Lord of Winterfell. Oh, I have goosebumps. He'll make you a Stark with the stroke of a pen. It's the first thing I ever remember wanting. But does he still want it though, if you know that his mom didn't want to? Like, it's not coming from the right person, right? I'm gonna refuse him. Yeah. You'd be Lord of Winterfell. I swore a vow to the Night's Watch. Ah, uh, for different reasons than I thought. Does anyone wish to speak? Or well, candidates? Before we cast our tokens for the 998th Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. Number 1000 is going to be a special one, no? Not just a knight, he's a man of true nobility. He was acting commander when the war came under attack and led us to victory against the wildlings. He's a veteran of a hundred battles. Good job not to wear. Sir Dennis Malister joined the watch as a boy and has served loyally longer than any other ranger. If there is no one else... We will begin the voting. Go, Sam, go! Sam the Slayer. <laughs> How's your lady love, Slayer? Her name is Gilly, but the Slint knows her quite well. They cowered together in the larder during the battle for the wall. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Sir Alistair fought bravely, it is true. And when he was wounded, it was John who saved us. Took charge of the wall's defence. He killed the Magna of the Thens. But he's the commander we turned to when the night was darkest. Sam is such a good public speaker. Woo Do you want to choose a man who has fought the wildlings all his life? Or a man who makes love to them? I think we, of course, all know what we want, but I can see these rough, tough men maybe not going for John because of the exact reason of ignorance. Oh, well, we still love him, no? It used to be a time, Esther. Woo! Not expected. Good job, guys. Maester is like, woo! <laughs> that was amazing. Oh! oh my god. It's a nice little sword. Worth a hundred pages of sword like that. Nothing's worth anything to dead men. Come on. Quickly, go, go! What? Why were they scared of you? You lost this. Is it him? Ah! I was thinking that for a second. I was like, what if it's just him? But then I was like, no way, because he's going to show his face. Well, who are you then? No one. And that is who we're going to become. Look at her face. <laughs> her growth is amazing, right? From like where we've seen her until now. What a badass. Yeah, brother, and then like. Lisa, Carlo, Ingelere. She's gonna. Kilonarion Morhon Issa. He's not gonna have mercy, I think. Oh God. Oh, attention, attention. right because what she was doing is exactly what she do give him a trial and if you interrupt you have the same faith it ignores the underlying tensions in this place right whoa that's okay that's thank god outside your door tonight your grace you all got tonight leave me i feel like in the long term she did a good thing but then i'm like hmm. I would be really good. Oh, is that Drogon? Mom needs some help. I hope he's not going to turn on her now.
What does it mean? He's back and good. Or he's back and we're not sure yet if he's good. God, it's so difficult. Like, what does she need to do? She doesn't want to have a rule of terror. So she actually supported. But she needs to completely break through that culture that's been there for so long quite very interesting to see honestly but yeah so many things are um, like what oh my god what's gonna happen with her she's gonna become faceless and what about sansa oh so many questions i'm fully invested in it again um i'm excited i'm gonna watch the next one it'll be the last one for today but i'm gonna try to watch one more i'll see you all in the next one hi everybody my name is mary this is my cat bernini and today we will be watching game of thrones season 5 episode 3 let's go hey everybody welcome back and if you're new hi as well today we're gonna jump in another episode of game of thrones it's rather late here but i got a little bit of chocolate milk and yeah i'm just super excited i feel it's weird because i feel like oh my god fifth season we're almost at the end but that's ridiculous because we're just over halfway i'm always struggling between the oh my god i want to finish them as quickly as possible because i want to also start looking on youtube and googling without fear of being spoiled and right now the moment that i upload the game of thrones episode my youtube pops in with all these things i'm like i cannot look at it so i want to finish it quick but i also want to enjoy it for as long as possible so i'm always like between those two what i just realized is have you not seen brand this season i was thinking like oh i'm really rooting for the stark children like john is doing amazing Arya, like what's gonna happen there sansa seems to be in a good spot and then i was like what about the boys and then brand we haven't seen him since season four i think maybe we shall see more of him today who knows anyway i'm excited as always i feel like i always say that but i am if you like this reaction make sure to leave a comment leave a like and if you want to see more subscribe maybe <laughs> let's just jump into this one the girl must become no one which one's the many-faced god i see the stranger i see the drowned god i see the wayward face there is only one god a girl knows his name and all men know his gift okay so many questions oh she's going insane with jealousy from this day until the end of my days oh, kind of good on her right if she was willing to deal with joffrey and he's so happy look at that face He's very out of breath for uh, 10 seconds. Did I hurt you? No, you were lovely. It all happened so fast. Yes. <laughs> what sound did she mean that he thinks that she, he hurt her? The sweetest king who ever lived. Oh! Shouldn't we rest a little while? Just to catch our breath, there's no rush, is there? You want some bunny running shoes? Hungry? <laughs> How old is he, by the way? This feels a bit really... Mm. I want to know everything there is to know about King Tommen, first of his name. Well, she's been used to it. Sometimes it feels odd. I'm the king. I've married the most beautiful woman in the world. <laughs> but it's not your fault. You know that, don't you? You mustn't feel guilty. I don't feel guilty. That's what's odd. What a coincidence! I think we're going to be very happy, you and I. Living in a tower... So high, it touches the clouds. Of course, my grandmother couldn't wait to go home. She's gonna send her off. Does your mother like it here? I don't think so. She told me never to trust anyone in King's Landing. She's gonna try to get rid of her on the first night. She doesn't wait for a second. I adore her. She's always been so generous with me, so kind. And the horrors she's had to endure. Losing her husband, her eldest child and her father. It's no wonder she's so protective of you. <laughs> Whoa. You ever miss Castle Rock? There's nothing for me in Castle Rock. That's where you grew up. You always told me that you liked the people there better. Why are we speaking of Castle Rock? The way that you talked about it. I always thought that you missed it. I want you to be happy, Mother. He's so obvious. I know you do. My sweet boy. But wouldn't you be happier in Castle Rock? <laughs> Mother. Welcome. I just wanted to let you know if there's ever anything I can do for you. You were very sweet. I'm glad to hear you're happy. Ecstatic. I really am. Exhausted, to be honest, but what could I expect? He is half lion, half stag. Oh my god, it's your mother in law! Queen Mother or Dowager Queen? Judging from the king's enthusiasm, the 
queen mother will be a queen grandmother soon. Wouldn't that be a lovely day? Yeah. Shut the f up. <laughs> Did you ever imagine talking to your mother-in-law like that, even in real life? No, right? I'm so tired from your lying son. Almost grandkids. <laughs> God. Oh no, no, I didn't miss you for a second. I paid him living, along with his wife and brother. Made his son watch. And? The new Lord Kerwin paid his taxes. He must be like, whoa, my son is an absolute psychopath. <laughs> we become a great house by entering into alliances with other houses and piling those alliances into greater power. The best way to forge a lasting alliance isn't by peeling a man's skin off. The best way is marriage. Oh my God, someone needs to marry him. Oh my God, who's going to be the next victim? And the perfect girl to solidify our hold on the North. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, don't tell me little finger is on on this. Tommy loves her and he wants to marry her. Don't let him do this. Bruce Bolton murdered my brother. He betrayed my family. He did. I won't go. There's no justice in the world. Not unless we make it. <laughs> no, I... No, I am. Oh, no, I can't. Like, I've been... Is it like Joffrey is dead? So we cannot just have a show without... A crazy dude. So we completely put him forward and now put sentence on his oh claws again. I thought Littlefinger wanted something with her. Why does he want her to marry a Bolton? Like what does he have to gain with this? Is he trying to is it just for helping her? No way. I can get a bit old to be a squire. How did you end up squiring for the imp? He hates that nickname. Well, he's not here to complain about it, is he? I love how she's like a lady not knight, and she's like commenting on his age. Yes, all your lords have been very kind to you. All except me. Sorry, I described such a nasty person. I'm not sorry. You're the best fighter I've ever seen. You beat the hound. I'm proud to be your squire. She said nasty person. I translated in Dutch to b Oh, he's learning. It's a Renly Baratheon, weren't you? I was. Lord Tyrion said he was a good man. He was. Oh, now we can do her armor. Nice. When I was a girl, my father held a ball. I'm his only living child, so he wanted to make a good match for me. And it was wonderful. My father smiled at me and I smiled at him. I'd never been so happy. Till I saw a few of the boys sniggering. They were toying with me. Brienne the Beauty, they called me. Oh, no. I realized I was the ugliest girl alive. A great lumbering beast. Oh my god! I tried to run away, but Renly Baratheon took me in his arms. Don't let them see your tears, he told me. I'm really tall to <laughs> feel that a little bit. <laughs> Dance at me and none of the other boys could say a word. Lord Tyrion said he was... Yes, Pod, he liked men. I'm not an idiot. Yes, they'll dance with a woman, dumbass. Nothing's more hateful than failing to protect the one you love. One day I will avenge King Renly. But you said a shadow murdered him. How do you fight a shadow? A shadow with a face. We're at a face of Stannis. Stannis is a man, not a shadow. A man can be killed. Lord Commander. Your Grace. Lord Commander. May I ask Your Grace how long you plan to stay at Castle Black? Are you bored of us already? Night's Watch can't continue to feed your men and the wildling prisoners. Winter is coming. You almost forgot about that. It's been a while since they said I heard that. It's best to keep your enemies close. Whoever said that didn't have many enemies. <laughs> How does the Night's Watch file go again? I bet you've got it memorized since you got here. Okay, he slept with a lady. Watcher on the walls. The shield that guards the realms of men. I pledge my Wait, life. Wait, that's enough. The shield that guards the realms of men. Now, I'm not a learned man, but the best way to help oh. most people might not be sitting in a frozen castle at the edge of the world. And what needs to be done? As long as the Boltons rule the north. I thought he was going to point out the hypocrisy. <laughs> oh, safe. Sun's up. <laughs> I really don't want to see her do this. I feel like after Littlefinger got her and Lysa was dead, you could finally breathe again for her. And it's like, what? Three episodes in and it's like, okay, we lost her again to a crazy person. Thanks, Littlefinger. Lady Sansa, welcome. I think she would have been better off marrying Robin. Oh, he killed her brother! Can you imagine that? Use my son. Ramsay Bolton. 
It's an honor to meet you, my lady. Oh, I want to take her away. Welcome home, Lady Stark, and all three members. Lord Janus, I'm giving you command of Greyguard. Greyguard is a ruin. Yes, the fort is in a sorry state. First build a Yarwick can spare ten I of I was charged with the defense of King's Landing when you were soiling your swaddling clothes. Keep your ruin. Oh. That was a command, not an offer. I will not have it! Did you hear me, boy? I will not have it! Are you refusing to obey my order? Time to show him who is the boss. Holly, bring me my sword. <laughs> Oh, for a second I was like, uh oh. The boy thinks he can frighten me. He's mistaken. Yes, very mistaken. I think you're dead in like a minute, guy. That's a problem, right? If he is Lord Commander, even the people who think they're more experienced they need to respect him, right? If you have any last words, my lord, now's the time. I was wrong. You're the Lord Commander. We all serve you. My lord, please, mercy. Oh, this is. Oh, no. Oh, God. Please. I'm afraid. Sean, don't do it. Okay, I thought he was gonna go for mercy at the end. <laughs> I guess you can't say no and then change your mind. I can see how he was like, he, this is the moment where I showed I'm the boss. What are you doing? This establishment ah! belongs to Lord Peter Baelish. You I am the high septum of the... You are a sinner. You were assaulted. I was. Are those fanatics who call themselves sparrows? They humiliated me, they beat me, they left me naked and bleeding on the cobblestones. So you were ministering to the needs of these devout prostitutes? A man's private affairs ought to stay private. Oh, come on, let the guy have it. Jesus. I ask that you protect our faith by arresting these criminals and throwing them in the black cells. I ask that you execute their leader, this so-called high sparrow. If he goes unpunished... And where do I find this man? Okay, that's a bit much though. <laughs> I'd assumed you'd only come here to arrest me for that incident with the High Septum. I wouldn't presume to know your thoughts on the matter. My thoughts on the matter are in line with your own. She finds him intriguing. Faith and the crown are the two pillars that hold up this world. One collapses, so does the other. She likes him. Oh no. Oh, I don't want to see scenes with him in more detail. Nope. La 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 la. I have to get out of this wheelhouse. Atlantis is a large city. The likelihood of you being spotted here increases a hundredfold. Mm, I have to get out of this wheelhouse. Why is going nuts? I'm losing my mind. If anyone recognizes you, you lose more than that. Look. <clears throat> what am I? One more drunk dwarf. Uh, I don't know. It's gonna be weird to see him together with Daenerys. Like that when when the characters now are moving through the world, that's what makes it interesting as well, you know? That suddenly Littlefinger is with Bolton and Sansa as well, and Jamie gonna be to Dorn, like all those things. <laughs> Promise to not marry one again. <laughs> it's very stinking. <laughs> It appears you're not the only Targaryen supporter. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. Of course you can. You're shy. I'm not. He's traumatized and heartbroken. More shocked than I am. I hope it passes. What will I do in my spare time? <laughs> no need to worry. Oh. So, thought you were someone else. I'm taking you to the Queen. But he was on his way anyway. <laughs> okay, so Jorah is trying to get back. I don't mind, I liked him. Poor Sansa. Oh, I cannot get over that. Like, give her a freaking break. Give her a freaking break. That's more than three episodes. I still miss the Stark parents. I do feel that although I love it and I'm really enjoying it, they took away so many characters that... I feel like made such an impact on the show that you always miss seeing them. Like Tyrion, for example, as well. I feel like it was such a major figure. And there's both the Stark parents are gone and I don't know, Egret. But I guess that's what it is, right? And it's also like the, the reason why you get so connected to it, right? Because you invest in people and then they get taken away from you in a way that no show would ever do. But still, I think it's going to be interesting to see like in the eighth season how many of the main characters from the first season are still there because we're not there yet <laughs> and i feel like we already miss half the crew 
anyway i enjoyed this episode i'm gonna go to bed so the next one is gonna be for very soon but i'm excited again i always take a little bit of a break between seasons but then when i start the first episodes again i'm like whoa bench the season i'm having a good time with it i hope you like these reactions as always if you do make sure to like and subscribe and full reactions you can find on patreon i'll see you in the next one i hope you have a lovely rest of your evening bye